Antarctica and I'm studying the snow algae. Warming temperatures are helping the formation and spread of green snow in the home of penguins. Why? Blooming algae are giving parts of the frozen continent an increasingly green tinge. The phenomenon is becoming so widespread that it's even visible from space. That's according to new research carried out by the University of Cambridge and the British Antarctic Survey. And if you look over here, you can see there's patches of green and hopefully you can see some patches of red uh, if the light conditions permit it. Using data collected over two years by satellite and on-the-ground observations, the research team created the first map of the algae blooms on the Antarctic Peninsula coast. The new mapping found 1,679 separate algal blooms, a key component in the continent's ability to capture carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. In terms of the amount of carbon that's um, required to actually make these blooms in Antarctica, it's equivalent to about the amount of carbon that's being emitted by about 875,000 average UK petrol car journeys. It's taking up carbon from the atmosphere, but it, it won't have any significant dent in the amount of carbon dioxide that's um, being put into the atmosphere at the moment. Antarctica experienced its warmest day ever recorded in February, with the mercury rising to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. The impact of climate change on the spread of snow algae is unclear, but it is found mainly on the islands off Antarctica's western coastline, where warming has been most extreme. With, with the snow algae blooms, um, obviously they, they rely on slushy snow to actually bloom. So if the climate gets too warm and that snow actually becomes very slushy and it melts out very fast, you're losing that habitat for the snow algae to actually bloom in the first place. So you're wiping out a complete ecosystem in potentially one day.